Pisces, hi, welcome. Today we're gonna to be doing your weekly July 19th through the 25th. I'm gonna give these a quick shuffle and then I will lay out your cards and I'll put an image up here for you guys to take a look with me and then we'll talk through it. So let me just give this a quick little shuffle and let's see. All right, Pisces, so for this week, at the very center of your reading, I just want to point it out, we do have um, justice here. So for me, there's a situation here. I feel like it's a couple, because um, we have the king and queen of pentacles here, and I feel like you're reevaluating a situation. It could be with an actual person, be it um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're reevaluating a situation. Um, you may have been made an offer, I'm um, sorry, an offer, or you're putting the dots together and you're connecting something with this person. But you're not yet at a place, I think, um, where you recently weren't sure. But it seems like you will be making some kind of decision very soon because, I mean, we have the Two of Cups here. <sighs> We have death here in your near future position. And so some you will be making a decision and that decision will be, you've been scared. Um, you've been scared to make this decision. Um, I think you're afraid of regretting it. I feel like that's coming through the most, regretting it. Um, are you disappointed in yourself? Um, but I feel like regret is coming through and that's what you're just really afraid of. But you are being egged on by like, I feel like everything around you to take a leap of faith. Like there's something that's just like everywhere you turn, you're probably seeing signs or something. Um, but there is the end of something for the beginning of something else. And you're totally trying to um, approach this really heart to heart, really harmonious, um, really benefit of the doubt is your approach. and. You're really just trying to go after your wishes. Um, and I feel like this is with somebody, this is regarding a person um, for a lot of you. Um, you've been afraid, you've been afraid of regret, of loss, of the disappointment, um, of losing something or of regretting your decisions. And for some of you, disappointment in yourself. Um, and you want to move forward. Um, you just weren't sure, you had to take a step back. Some of you had to make space for it, for sure. Um, and by the end, I feel like there will be, I'm gonna pull another card and then we will update this photo as well. But by the end, um, we have the devil here. So I definitely want another clarification for that one. But you are reevaluating something. Um, and I, it's a relationship in your life. <sighs> there, you know, um, it's one that you've nurtured, that you've put a lot of energy into, that you've cared for a lot. Um, probably one that, you know, you, I mean, you gave a lot of energy to it and you wanted to and you were happy to, but it's something that you invested a lot into. Um, definitely the situation is something you've inv invested a lot into. And very recently you're coming out of reevaluating things. And I think you're entering a direction where you're making a decision. Um, something is, a cycle is ending and another one is beginning. Something is transforming um, for sure. I don't feel like your fears, um, for me right now, there's nothing else indicating anything negative. They're all really positive cards, but I do wanna see what this devil. So let me pull one more card and we'll dive a little deeper. Um, shuffle a little bit more and then we'll see. All right. All right, Pisces, so um, yeah, a situation has been very heavy on you. That's why you needed to reevaluate it. I mean, it's been really burdensome, really taxing on you. Um, and something that was once really emotionally fulfilling for you, it just no longer feels that way. You definitely need more. That being said, I'm getting strong feelings of like, things that were like generation, there could be something with family. It doesn't just have to be a person. Um, I am getting family vibes because we do have the 10 of pentacles here. It's a legacy card. So something that you pass down from like generation to generation. We also have the eight of cups here. 
the emperor's here as well so i feel like um there's something like that you may not even be aware of that is affecting the situation and it's i feel like it's your beliefs around um law and order like rules the rules of where we come from the law of the land um and i don't think it's in your i don't think you're really aware of it but um i think that's been affecting you and probably holding you um back a little bit from moving forward in a healthier direction because we have like what's coming you're coming from a place where you were juggling a lot i feel like um like you know in one way you'd be with people who were this way or like thought this way and in another sense you'd be hanging out with other people like just you know like just I feel like your life was a lot of juggling with the people around you and it's been very taxing on you having to juggle all of this and you've had to make a real judgment call about what you truly want um, that's why death is here and you do you've been wanting some real clarity on this like you just want like an aha moment where you're like okay I know this is why I want this even though like, okay, you know you want a fresh start or a new start with somebody, um, but or a situation, or you just want to put down whatever's causing you a lot of burden, but you want change. You definitely want change, and you definitely want it to come super clear to you. But right now, I feel like you're still a little, um, you're unsure. You're unsure. I feel like you're still pivoting a little bit back and forth. But um, I feel like it's mind versus heart, like head versus heart, even though people always say that and like, oh, it's the head versus the heart. It's not. Um, I feel like the only time it becomes the head versus the heart is when the heart is speaking so loud that it's making the head um, listen. And so now it's starting to question things. Um, but yeah, with the outcome, like we have the devil here with the seven of pentacles. And so, yeah, there's a situation here that I feel like you've invested so much into and it just turned out to probably for some of you not for all but to be a little bit taxing I mean taxing toxic for some of you um and not to say that the relationship has to go because it has some toxic traits just to say that you are shedding light on it and you're being aware of it because it looks like you or the people around you are ready to take that leap of faith with you and they're ready to put in that work you're just waiting for a little bit of more clarity I think you're just you're waiting to cut out those fears, um, cut out a little bit of anxiety, but you are gonna put down these burdens. That is coming soon. You're, I feel like you're gonna decide soon that these are not your burdens. And I feel like it's similar to your last reading, some of these energies. I mean, who knows? I read for the collective, but there is, um, you know, you're not sure. You're not sure. It could be um, like you having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with some of you could be specifically a Pisces, just because we do have the moon card here. So, you know, sometimes these actually just represent the sign um, that they correlate with. And we do have the two of cups right next to it. So for some of you, it is specifically um, a Pisces who you're gonna have like a heart-to-heart, -heart, um, or not going to, but it's on your mind. A connection with a Pisces that's very important to you for some of you is on your mind. Um, like another Pisces, of course. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. For the week, it feels like there's a lot that you're evaluating. There's a lot that you will soon be putting down. But what you want is up for review. And you're walking away because you want something that's a little bit lighter and that's more in line with who you are. All right, Pisces. If you like anything, please, of course, like if you like. Um, subscribe, comment. I love engaging. Other than that, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for letting me tune into your energy.